This is a quadrocopter, a device that travels in the air propelled by four rotors. Its job is to make robots fly. That's the objective of this European research project being carried out in the Swiss town of Zurich. Here we have the brain. There we have the sensors and the propellers. The data from the sensors reaches the brain which calculates navigation errors in real time and controls the propellers to correct them. Thanks to its onboard cameras, the model has good visibility and can find its way in the air. It's able to avoid obstacles and go back to where it came from if pushed away. The vehicle itself has to know where it is, how fast it is moving, how the surroundings look like. And for this, you have a pair of cameras in the center. You have a high power LEDs to illuminate the scene. And we have an inertial measurement unit that gives us angular velocity and acceleration. So the vehicle knows exactly where it is. And it can, it can come back if I push it. It's going to come back. The idea is for flying robots like these to assist humans in carrying out dangerous and costly tasks, such as inspecting walls or pipes in large factories. So what they have to do at the moment is they have to shut down the plant. They will send in people to do the inspection manually, which is time consuming and very dangerous. So people, people have lost their lives doing these inspections. So we are trying to send in one or a bunch of helicopters that do a visual inspection that give you a 3D model of the boiler and afterwards you can specifically inspect manually certain areas of the boiler. The design of the flying robot can be modified to allow it to pick up small objects for example or use ultrasonic sensors to see inside walls. Its automatic functions make it easier to pilot for the operator who doesn't need to be an expert to learn how to control the machine. It's very easy to use. I don't even need to know how to pilot it. I just press the buttons to make it turn right or left or go up or down. Its automatic controls ensure that even inexperienced users can control this system. It almost feels like a video game. There are two main challenges concerning this kind of vehicle. First of all, to develop the technology needed to allow it to navigate autonomously in an unfamiliar environment. So we focus on reconstructing the environment in real time via onboard sensors. The other major challenge is for the vehicle not only to function in automatic control in free flight, but also in physical interaction interaction with its environment. It's hoped such flying robots will make many human tasks easier and safer in years to come, heralding a new era in industrial automation.